Well, hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in to No Sweat English. Today, I want us to practice a little bit um, with speaking um, about how to make small talks to make your conversations better with native speakers as well as your friends. This is for students maybe more on the beginner intermediate level, but I think even advanced students can benefit from this video um, to practice your pronunciation a little bit better and how to make small talks. So before we begin practicing speaking, I want to talk a little bit about what small talks are. So every culture is different. Sometimes some cultures may be more direct or whatnot, uh, but the American culture, we love making small talks, especially um, friends that know each other, or as you've noticed, many Americans are very friendly. They want to make small talks with you, or maybe you want to practice your English with someone, but you're too shy or you don't know what to say. So I'm hoping that this video will be helpful uh, for you. And if you find this helpful, please subscribe and the bell, hit the bell so that every time a video becomes available, you'll be notified. So let's get started with small talks. So the first thing I want to talk about small talks is how to start small talks with people we know. So small talks are little um, conversations um, that usually begin a conversation that may be going into a different topic, but small talks can really help you, you know, practice your English and make friends with people. So the, these are common questions that you can start small talks with people that you know. Okay, so I'm going to say each one three times and I'll give you time to repeat after me so that you can actually practice um, how to actually say them. So here we go. So you can say, hi, how's it going? Hi, how's it going? Hi, how's it going? As you can see that the pronunciation is slightly different from the spelling. Right, you can hear that I'm saying, how's it going? And the G sometimes has dropped, okay? So instead of saying, hi, how is it going? I want to give you the native uh, pronunciation, okay? So once again, hi, how's it going? Or you can say, how are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Or you can say, how's your day? <clears throat> How's your day? How's your day? Now, when you ask people about how they are doing, um, if they ask you, I just want to give you some sample answers you can give to the person. You can say, I'm great. How about you? I'm great. How about you? I'm great. How about you? Or you can say, I'm doing all right. And you? I'm doing all right, and you? I'm doing all right, and you? Things are going fine, and you? Things are going fine, and you? Things are going fine, and you? Okay, so you can see that for every answer, I have a follow-up question for you to ask the speaker to help you keep the conversation going. So it's not just, you know, people ask you, how's it going, and you say, I'm great. It's polite to ask the person back. I'm great. How about you? Okay, so I'm giving you different ways you can keep the conversation going. Let's look at as other questions that you can ask to start small talks with people we know. You can talk about the weather. The weather is nice, isn't it? The weather is nice, isn't it? The weather is nice, isn't it? Or you can say, what did you do over the weekend? what you do over the weekend? what you do over the weekend? Or you can ask people if the weekend is coming, do you have any plans for the weekend? Do you have any plans for the weekend? Do you have any plans for the weekend? And with very close friends only, probably not your teacher or anything like that, you can say, what are you up to? What are you up to? What are you up to? 
And here again, I give you some answers. If people ask you these questions, you can give these answers. Um, if someone said the weather is nice, isn't it? You can agree, oh yes, I really enjoy the sun or the rain, depending on what you're talking about, right? Depending on the weather. Oh yes, I really enjoy the sun. Oh yes, I really enjoy the rain. Or you can say the cold weather or the warm weather, okay? If someone asks you, what did you do over the weekend? You can say, I didn't do much. And you? Again, keeping the conversation going. I didn't do much. And you? I didn't do much. And you? Okay. Or maybe you did something. Well, you, then you can talk about what you did, right? You can say, I went to Target, bought something, or I went to the park. Okay, so your answer will depend on what you did. Okay, but if you didn't do much, you can give a standard answer. I didn't do much. And you? If someone asks you, do you have any plans for the weekend? You can say, yeah, I plan to, yeah, I plan to, yeah, I plan to, and then give your plan. Or no, not really. And you? No, not really. And you? No, not really. And you? Okay. If someone asks you, what are you up to? You can say, nothing much. And you? Nothing much. And you? Nothing much. And you? Okay. Now let's talk about small talk with people we don't know. Okay, these are people we don't know. How do we start a conversation? You can be polite and introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Carol. What's yours? Hi, my name is, what's yours? Hi, my name is, what's yours? Or you can ask the person then, where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Or ask people about their job. What do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? Now, if people ask you that, you should be able to answer, you know, hi, my name is, what's yours? You should be able to say, my name is, right? And if people ask you where you're from, you can say, I'm from China, and you? Or I'm from Saudi Arabia, and you? I'm from Texas, and you? And if people ask you, what do you do for a living? You can say, I'm a student. What about you? I'm a student. What about you? I'm a student. What about you? Okay. Continuing on topics that you can talk with people you don't know, you can ask these questions. What are your hobbies? What are your hobbies? What are your hobbies? Sorry, I forgot the R here. Do you enjoy sports? Or you can ask, do you enjoy cooking? Or you can ask, do you enjoy music? Okay, and many other hobbies you can think of. What do you like to do in your free time? What do you like to do in your free time? What do you like to do in your free time? If people ask you these questions, you can answer, oh, I enjoy and then you can give the answer. Now, after enjoy, you want to use ing, okay, the gerund. I enjoy cooking. Oh, I enjoy reading. Oh, I enjoy driving, okay? Or you can talk about your hobbies. My hobbies are, again, use the gerund, the ing form. My hobbies are driving. My hobbies are cooking. My hobbies are listening to music, okay? Or you can say, I like to read. Or I like to cook. I like to read. I like to cook. Okay. Now, how do we keep a conversation going so that we don't just end, right? So instead of the American asking you a question, you just say, I'm fine, thank you. And you, and they say, I'm fine. How do you keep on going? Well, one way is to show interest, that you're interested in talking to the person. So if someone says something, you can say, that's interesting. Tell me more. So you want the conversation to go on. Okay, again, that's interesting. 
Tell me more. That's interesting. Tell me more. Or you can express surprise if someone surprised you with some information. Really? That's cool. Really? That's cool. Really? That's cool. And then you can bring up a new topic as well. What about basketball? Or what about the news last night? Or what about your weekend? Okay, so you can fill in the blanks here with what you talk about. But bringing up a topic, you can say what about, okay, and, and about the topic. Okay, how do we finish a small talk with people you know? So after your conversation, you're going to end the conversation instead of just saying goodbye. Here are some ways that Americans end their conversation or their small talk. You can say to people you know, it was great catching up. Catching up means you both shared what you've been up to lately and you're catching up to each other's life, like getting to know what they're doing lately. So you can say catching up. So let me practice that with you. It was great catching up. It was great catching up. It was great catching up. Or you can say, so nice to talk with you. So nice to talk with you. So nice to talk with you. Or you can say, see you later. See you later. See you later. Or take care. Take care. Take care. Or, well, see you around. Well, see you around. Well, see you around. Now, if we end a conversation with people we just met or people you don't know, maybe this is better, you just met a new friend, you can end it by saying, it was a pleasure to talk to you. It was a pleasure to talk to you. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Or you can say, it was very nice to meet you. It was very nice to meet you. It was very nice to meet you. Now, this one, meet you, a lot of students get that confused. This you only use with new friends. So the second time or third time you meet someone, you don't say it's very nice to meet you. Meet is only the first time you meet someone, okay? You can say it was very nice to see you again if it's an old friend, but the new friend we can say meet. Or I hope to see you again soon. I hope to see you again soon. I hope to see you again soon. All right, so that's all the conversation practice I have for you today. Um, I just wanted to, again, show you different ways to make small talks with people that you know or don't know so that you have a chance to practice your speaking more and make better conversations. I hope I was helpful. Please comment below in my video um, what type of topics you like more, more grammar, or do you like more vocabulary, or do you want more speaking pronunciation practice or reading and writing? I'm very, very open to suggestion and I'm very exciting, excited Sorry, to um, hear your thoughts on what you think about my lessons. Okay, so if you have any suggestions or any input, please be sure to comment so that I can get the message. All right, again, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the bell. And I will see you later. Keep practicing English. Thank you. Bye-bye.